we knew when we wanted to approach the life experience for Tiny that we wanted to do something different. We wanted to make sure that he wasn't seen as a club DJ or as just someone who played his hit records, but that you get an experience. So the idea of what this could look like really started by doing a lot of research on usage of different things that could creatively place a DJ. And then we really fell in love with the usage that S. Devlin has done by utilizing cubes to project and create emotion. And that's when the concept of a theater act came to mind, specifically at the time, Romeo and Juliet. Because I loved how that story created these four emotions. It created this introduction where they fall in love. It created the second act where they kind of flourish this relationship. The third, where there's this war between the families and the way of being. And the fourth, the sense of sadness with the death. And so I loved the fact that there was these four acts that were created. And one day I was walking through Soho House and I saw these art installation they had where they had a cube in the middle of a different environment. And the cube would break the horizontal line of, of the landscape. And so we started to really draw up how this can look in researching the glow in the dark book by Kanye West. And as we drew it up and started to get renders and sketches and started to really build the story, then we began really working on creative where Ivan really sat down with the visual experiences of Elliot Muscat and how we wanted to project the music and start thinking of what those visuals would look like. At this stage, we wanted to serve two creative masters. We wanted to stay true to the overall vision of the cube in front of a panoramic horizon line and that each act had a cohesive aesthetic while each visual resonated with the sound and the feeling of each song. Tiny had very specific personal references for certain songs that we wanted to make sure to bring to life. We also knew we wanted to experiment with cameras and aesthetic iMac looks inside the installation so Tiny's energy really connected with people. One day as I was walking to my office, I remember this cube that I bought years ago from an artist in LA called Circle. And the cube had these incredible words, which is nothing evolves without chaos and order. And I love that concept of that cube and what it really meant. And then it started to resonate with me that that was actually what was going on with Latin music, especially urban music. That's what broke it into the marketplace, this, this dembo, this reggaeton uh, origins that really made the music sound different and resonate. And so we wanted that to be act one. Then act two uh, is chaos. And in chaos was really about the trap movement and everything that started to evolve where you saw Bunny and Osuna and Anuel come out of as well as kind of Malanteo feeling of music that really would resonate and essentially transform the sound. And then third, it was about love. Love Records is really what took Latin urban music into the mainstream and made it global music. And so the fact that evolution, the first four words of evolution are love. And ultimately, Act 4 became freedom. And that is the state of where we are today, where it's no longer you have to follow rules in production or you have to follow rules in structure to make an urban Latin hit. It's really about this freedom to do whatever you want. And so this reflects all the latest productions that Tiny has done. And on the way back from Spain one day, I really got inspired to write what I thought was the message we wanted to give, which is that through music and through what Tiny has done, he's been able to break barriers of race, barriers of countries, barriers of stigmas, and essentially set the global audience free. Because of that, it made his dream come true. And so that was the concept of the narrative of the show and essentially what ended up becoming what you see today.